So I did a video, it was an experimental video a while back where I put these seeds, the ones that I thought needed cold stratification in the fridge. And I put them in the fridge in damp um, kitchen roll. And I'll do a little recap of that. And then in these sandwich bags, and I put them in the fridge on the 11th of September with a view to checking them and hoping that they would germinate. Uh, after a week, nothing had happened. After two weeks, I did a follow up video where I sort of did a big reveal and none of them had germinated. And I was extremely disappointed to the extent that I just deleted all my videos of that reveal, which I now totally regret. And in that video, I was saying, oh, I'll put them back in the fridge for a bit longer. But in all honesty, I was so fed up. I actually just left the seeds out on the side and forgot about them. And then I was having a bit of a tidy up and I saw them and I thought, oh, you know, I forgot about those. I forgot to put them back in the fridge. I don't know what to do with them. So I thought, well, before I throw them out, um, and I wouldn't have thrown them out anyway, I would have planted them up. But I decided to take one last look. So now they've been out in room temperature for a, a few days, you know, four or five days after having a period of approximately two weeks in the fridge. Now, I thought they would have died and I thought the tissue would have dried out. But in these plastic bags, a little bit like when you have a propagator, they stayed damp. And to my astonishment, a ton of them have, in fact, germinated. So I'm now going to plant them up. Um, and I just thought, well, I'll just show you. They haven't all germinated, so I'll probably just leave those for a bit longer. But let me show. So let's start with the Bells of Ireland. Let's see if, this, if you can see this. So they haven't all germinated. I can't remember which ones have. So this, oh my goodness, look at those. Can you see? I don't know whether I need my glasses and I can't see. <laughs> oh, it's better without the light. Look, they have germinated just in the tissue. And I'm so nervous now about planting them up. Ah. Can't believe it. So they do need that period of warmth and room temperature after coming out of the fridge. Oh, I wish I'd showed you the reveal video where there was nothing. I'll see if I can find it, but I'm pretty sure I deleted it. So this is Cleomi. And I think this is one of the ones that didn't. Yeah, nothing happened on those but I have a sneaking suspicion because nothing's happened on my winter sewing with those either and they had the absolute optimum conditions outside because we had a couple of periods of cold then warm then cold which is precisely what they need so I have a theory about old seeds and I've started to notice as I've gone along doing so many seeds as I have done this year that there definitely is a correlation between the quality of the seeds and your germination prospects. So I'm going to go back and see which brand these were and everything, and I'll make sure to avoid them next time. Because I've noticed, particularly with my sweet peas, my own sweet peas have all germinated and have, are literally flying. And then I've bought, you know, packets from the DIY store, who knows how long they've been there. And they have not done anything. They've mostly just moulded and rotted. So there. So I think there's definitely something in that. So these are the delphiniums. Da, 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 da. But I hope I haven't killed them. Oh my goodness. Are they dead? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait. No, there, look. Can you, wait a minute, look, can you see that? Where's the damn camera? Excuse my cursing. There. And here's another one. Oh my God, it's stuck to the tissue. So I'm going to be very careful to extract and plant those now. In fact, I'm not even going to fold those back up. 
they can stay over here on their bag. Okay, next one. And what's this one? Larkspur. Now, I've only had a couple germinate in my cold um, overwintering sort of, but look. Okay, not so great. I don't have a lot of luck with these Larkspur, but again, could be the seeds. So I changed my seed supplier, but there is there is definitely one there, which would correlate with the um, germination rate that I had um, on my other ones outside, which I'm doing outside. And literally I have only one out of all of them has germinated. So um, I know that they say a workman shouldn't blame his tools, but as I've said, I do think there is a correlation between the quality of your seeds. So pay particular attention to that. Don't be necessarily blaming yourself if the seeds aren't coming up. So this is Larkspur, another Larkspur, different brand. So let's see if there's any difference in results. And yes, that is a huge difference. Look, I don't know how well you can see, but there, see that one? Where's the camera on this? Is it there? Right. So, and there's more there. So these, funnily enough, these, I'd say about, these look like they've all germinated. So these are actually the ones I got from Amazon Premier Seeds. So I'm definitely going to put those in my storefront shop and I'll put the link below and then you can go and have a look. Um, so that is just great to be able to endorse um that let me just see i've just lost one there pop that back in it doesn't look like it's one that's germinated but let's keep it handy anyway right so i'm actually glad i noticed the, this before i you know left them any longer because i think they would have gone over and died and i still don't know if they're going to be successful having germinated them this way but and here we go more and this is more larkspur look at the germination rate on those and I'll find the brand for those. I've, I've written the variety, so I'll be able to easily identify the brand. But I don't know whether you can see, but they have really sprouted. Wow. So pleased with those. All right, so they can go over there. I'm not putting, I'm going to be planting these up now. So, and I might just plant them up in the winter sowing method and put them in bottles outside. I'm not sure. So uh, some of these have sprouted, but they're not fantastic. These are uh, Wilco's Larkspur. So they, yes, they have, but probably only about a third of them. Oh, can you see that? Is that actually focusing? Um, so they're not a hugely significant germination rate. So it looks like the Premier Seeds from Amazon, of all things, um, are looking like the best on the Larkspur front. And then finally, we have um, what are these? The, the plurum. And I remember these were no joy. Oh, wait, I have one. That, wait a minute, which one is it? Uh, is it that one there? So, not fantastic. But, you know, we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll plant it up anyway. Plant them up anyway, because you never know, they may still be delayed. So how about that then? So the Bells of Ireland and the couple of the Bipleurum, nearly all the Delphiniums, the Premier Seed Lark Spurs have all germinated. And I think, was it only one of the Cleome? Not so good. So um, that's a really great, I mean, really, that's actually so much more successful than I was thinking. The Wilco's ones were a bit hit and miss. Um, those Dwarf Hyacinth Lark Spur, uh, fantastic so i'll find the brand for those and let you know below premier c giant imperial larkspur 
over the moon about those. The Larkspur White. Actually, they were also from Amazon, but they weren't Premier Seeds. They were a different brand. And what, what do we have here again? I forget. Oh, yes, the Delphinium. Delphiniums have been fantastic. And what was that one again? Oh, the Bifleurum. So how about that? I'm really pleased with that. So I'm going to plant those up and I'll do a further update on those videos. I'm just going to plant them up um, with the same probably seed uh, uh, potting mix that I would use when I'm starting them off from new. And honestly, I think these are all going to go outside in bottles because I think that's going to be the best place for them. I can't plant them out or anything like that because... Um, Sorry, I'm just giving my dog a kiss. She's come for a snuggle. Um, I can't plant them up outside because I'm still digging over the borders. And so I can't do that. They'll have to go somewhere more protected. I think inside it's going to be too warm. You know, I want them to be um, hardy. So, oh, <laughs> licked me in the mouth. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly bubby? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm over the moon. So there's my update on that. So the trick was actually to have them in the fridge for two weeks and then in these damp bags and then to take them out for, you know, three, four, five days and just leave them at room temperature. I didn't put them on a radiator or anything like that. I just left them at room temperature and blow me down. They've gone and germinated. So you may have noticed in the background this book. This is another book I've done now for Amazon. I'm doing so many flowers. I'm my all my daughters are finishing um, schooling at the same time this year, and they're going to have a long summer. So I've got one finishing her GCSEs, the other finishing her A levels, and the other one finishing university all at the same time. So I'm thinking I'm going to start doing some market planning and maybe send them off to farmers markets with any spare flowers. And I think I'm going to have loads of spare flowers. So I thought that might be a nice good thing for them to do and to see how I feel maybe about growing um, uh, flowers for business as opposed to just for painting which is my business but um, yeah so I, I did this planner so I'm over the moon with it this is it it's available on Amazon and it just really I mean these pages here I love this where you can design your own bouquet with your colour palette and then, you know, ingredients and what you would need to make it and so forth. I'm over the moon about it. You've got notes. Um, you've got your daily planner, monthly planner, weekly planner, annual planner, income tracker, sales tracker, product inventory, to-do list. And I've got a seed starting book as well, which is I've got a gardening book, but I've done one specifically for seed starting because I found that. There wasn't enough room in my gardening book to write down all the seeds. So the gardening book is more of an overview, I think, of what I'm going to do. And for people who have a pretty modest gardening um, hobby. So I think there's plenty of room for that. But for the level that I was going to, the seed starting level, I've actually done a seed book, which I'm also going to be showing you. But I love this one. I particularly just love these bouquet pages where you can just sketch out your bouquets and, you know, you've got your overview there. And yeah, and, you know, you can you can have your um, your suppliers. So you want to do your supplier list of all your best seeds and products or maybe your, you know, your um, craft paper for your bouquets. Um, you can obviously your market stall holders, uh, your markets that you're targeting. I, I just thought it was, um, you know, really, really nice. Large as well, so that you're not trying to fit everything into a tiny little page. Beautiful cover. I love it. I'm over the moon with this and I will be using it. And if any of you are thinking of starting a back garden, flower business or even a bigger one, this is the book for you. All right, back to my seeds. I'm going to be planting them up in my next video. And uh, no, I'm going to be planting them up today. I'm not going to film that. Um, and then I will obviously do an update on their progress once they are growing, if they grow. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye.